Rick! I broke the code! I deleted everything, it's all gone! Morty, relax. That's why we use Git. Git? What's that? I don't even know what that is. Git is like a time machine for your code. Every time you make changes, it lets you save a version. If you mess something up, you can go back. Wait, like saving checkpoints in a video game? Exactly. Every time you hit save, Git remembers the state of your code. You can go back to any version, compare changes, or undo mistakes. But how do I even use it? You start by telling Git to track your project. Then you tell it what files you want to save. And then you give it a message like, Hey, I added a new button and boom, it's saved. And if I mess something up? You can look through your save history. It shows everything you did. You pick the version you want, and you switch back to it. Or you can just tell Git to undo a specific change. That's kind of awesome. It gets better. If you want to test a risky idea, you can create a copy of your project in a separate timeline. We call that a branch. So, like, I can experiment without breaking the original? Yes, and if your experiment works, you can merge it back into your main project. If it fails, just delete that timeline like it never happened. Okay, but what if I'm working with someone else? Then you use Git with GitHub. That's like putting your code in the cloud. You can upload your changes, your teammate downloads them, and Git handles all the tracking. You always know who changed what and when. So it's like Google Docs, but for code? Exactly, but way smarter and made for developers. Once you get used to Git, you'll never want to code without it. All right, I'm in. I'm going to go fix my code with Git this time. Good. Just remember, commit early, commit often, and don't forget to push when you're done. And if you want your infrastructure to make sense like your Git history, join the inventory waitlist. Links in the bio.